Hi, I'm La Viola Vixen. I come from Australia and I'm here to open the Berlin Burlesque Academy. Ich bin Marlene von Steenmark, wohne in Berlin, bin aus Deutschland und uh, freue mich mit diesen beiden grandiosen Performern zusammenzuarbeiten. I so. think you're not naked in burlesque because you you cover some mm -hmm. your really private parts, you have them yeah. covered them up. And you're wearing this makeup, yeah, and you're yeah. wearing this hair. Yeah. You're wearing a character. You're wearing right. a character. Right, that's why. It's I'm, different. Yeah. Hello, I'm Erotika Bambu. Ich komme aus Japan. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I, I didn't want to be a ballet dancer when I started my show. <laughs> <laughs> How did you three get together to found the Berlin Burlesque Academy? Me. Uh, me and La Viola just moved to Berlin and then each girl has a burlesque workshop in Tokyo and Australia. Then we performed together a lot yeah. and we got to meet uh, each other on the performer skill uh, level and uh, then we decided to found a school mm -hmm. and all had the idea at the same time. What's your vision for the school, Viola? Uh, we want to create a kind of environment where women can come and learn all different types of burlesque skills and um, you know if they want to perform or if they just want fun for themselves whether they want to um, yeah I don't know learn how to do the bump and grind or to create their own shows we can kind of um, create some kind of environment where they can learn everything. Through the burlesque, learning the burlesque, they can find mm -hmm. what is my charm and what is <laughs> more like gorgeous. Und es geht uns auch darum, dass Leute, die ähm, äh, auf Tour sind in Deutschland, hier ein Zuhause finden können, dass hier eine freundliche Community ist, ähm, dass jeder Performer hat unterschiedliche Fähigkeiten und ist Experte auf seinem Gebiet. What do you uh, want to tell people who don't feel so comfortable in their bodies, who might not know if they are able to come here, if they are welcome here? Yeah, the environment here is going to be something that's really relaxed and really casual. There's no pressure on anybody to do anything, whether it be performing or stripping or what have you. Everyone's welcome and they can move at their own pace. Usually a lot of the classes have nothing to do with stripping for quite a long time and we pace them slowly so people begin to feel comfortable and then move forward. There's no, um, okay, you're here, now take your clothes off for us. Most of the people that come, they have no performance background. I mean, it's always different, but often they've never performed for anyone and they feel really, really nervous about it. And so it's really important for us to have our business to make people feel really um, comfortable and move at a really slow pace, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Und ich denke auch, dass äh, jeder, der hier hinkommt, äh, schon irgendeine Burlesque-Motivation in sich trägt. Jeder, der sich für diesen Kurs interessiert, hat irgendwas, was rausgekitzelt werden möchte. Und ähm, wir bilden halt ähm, ein, eine Umgebung, wo man sicher ist, wo man sich wohlfühlt, wo man willkommen ist. Egal, ob man spädeldünn ist oder übergewichtig, ob man normal ist, ob man tanzen kann oder nicht. Uns geht es einfach darum, die Schönheit, die innen ist, rauszuholen. Und äh, ich glaube, wir sind alle drei schon sehr erfolgreich damit gewesen. <lacht> Are the classes for ladies only? Mm. <lacht> That depends on the class. What do you think? What do you think? <lacht> It depends on the class. Maybe uh, in the future, boy, less class, maybe. Well, I've, yeah, I'm really always happy to have boys in my classes. Um, but then other times it's important for women to feel comfortable. Yeah to be naked, so it's kind of on an application basis. Uh, I've never had a boy come to my class for the wrong reasons. I mean, a boy comes to the class because he wants to learn how to perform and he wants to learn burlesque skills, and so generally they're always welcome in my classes, but um, case by case basis. Yeah. <laughs> also bei mir, uh, wir waren da unterschiedlicher Meinung, we were of different opinions. Uh, for me, it's like I certainly love to, to give skills to boys and help them to develop their show, show, shows, no problem. But I think it's most important for us, or for me, to have every single student feel at the most comfortable level they can be. And I think for many women, that is to be amongst women. Uh, so 
if a boy wants to be learn something, our doors are, are open, but uh, we also respect the privacy of the women. Do you see yourself as a school of performing arts or do you see yourself as a school for ladies especially to... Performing burlesque. Performing burlesque, oh, but, or, um, but also, yeah, people... I mean, yeah. do I have to go on stage after your course? No. Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. I mean, yeah, with my school at home, I would say 90% of the girls that come, come for fun and for exercise and uh, socializing and for themselves. Yeah. And then 10% want to go on to become performers. And that's kind of lucky, otherwise I'd have bred so many millions of performers by now that we wouldn't, you know, have anywhere really to put them. <laughs> you breed your competition. <laughs> um, yeah, and so I think um, Every, yeah, the girls that want to come and perform will definitely create an opportunity for that. We're going to have graduation events and so, but there's zero pressure. And our events will also be really casual, so girls can come and try performing uh, in an environment that's not putting too much pressure on them to be professional yet. Yeah, so it's welcome for everyone then. Also bei den Kursen, die ich ähm, bisher unterrichtet habe, habe ich immer gemerkt, dass es vor allem äh, Frauen oder Mädchen sind, also verschiedenen Alters, die einfach für sich ihre Weiblichkeit finden wollen und die, bisschen, die auch viele Fragen haben, wie ist das Performer Life, äh, wie, wie findet man sein alter Ego und äh, die auch wirklich ihre äh, Femininität finden wollen. Und ich glaube, das ist der größte Teil, der kommt. Ähm, aber wir sind natürlich auch dazu da, äh, Performern zu helfen, ihre Shows auszuarbeiten, dass sie besser werden, dass man sagt, okay, da ist vielleicht ein kleines Manko, das wir ausbessern können oder wo wir dir helfen können. Wir wollen wirklich die ganzen ähm, Niveaus an äh, Performing Skills bedienen. Because you are like so different characters, uh, also on stage and also from different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you could uh, say some, something that is really striking or typical for where you come from in the burlesque scene? I started my burlesque career when I was 18 years old, which means late yeah. 80s. Yeah! yeah. yeah. So, much career. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, now we call it new neo burlesque. It's different, totally different. I grew up on a cabaret in Japan, then always like a performing on stage with live band and an audience is almost men, gentlemen. But now uh, the new burlesque is more like, uh, you know, not only men. So I can make both style. So mix or whatever they want, I can make it. And um, I also perform in the United States, and I met so many legends of burlesque, which means 80 years old to 60 years old ladies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learn from them a lot. So I just want to tell people this is not only age or color of the skin or how um, superficial yeah superficial things america is more like uh, boom, 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 and a ha this is my boobies <laughs> <laughs> but japanese is more like a little bit how can i say sensitive like teasing slowly like this not show you everything so quickly I thought that it was all quite similar wherever you go and then once I come here somewhere like this like and see your style and other Japanese mm -hmm. performers then you start being able to kind of define these kind of cultural trends. Australia I find there's we've got really good burlesque in Australia amazing girls are coming out from there and they're really creative somehow we have so many girls at once and we have these competitions and so on and so forth that you have to push yourself really, really hard and fast to um, get ahead and to make a name for yourself. I think the German burlesque scene is, uh, is very young mm -hmm. um, and it's very um, storytelling based, like people have a topic um, which they uh, interact with. It also has a lot of uh, this uh, cabaret elements, but now um, since the last four years it's also changing a lot and from the storytelling it goes more and more into this uh, glamorous costumes on the one side and on the other side there is something very typical Berlin I think where there's super gory burlesque with yeah. blood and yeah. tying up yeah. and all these yeah. things uh -huh. and as diverse and young as the culture in Berlin is and as man many people move in here so vibrant is uh, the, the burlesque um, scene here too and with performers 
like uh, Eric Chica, uh, who's in this exotic world, or um, La Viola, who's um, Australia's Queen of Fiva, coming here, they inspire people too. And, and that changes our, um, our burlesque again. And I think it's most amazing uh, to be in Berlin at this time, right now, because everything is changing here. It's vibrant and it has so many cultural influences. And we all gain from it. And the Berlin burlesque scene also is super friendly. We are internationally um, known for that. We have a really, really good reputation. Really good reputation. <laughs> it's fantastic, mm -hmm. and um, and it's all it's beautiful to watch this uh, this colorful uh, changes. You know, you have a story which is all glamour, then you have a story uh, or a show which is all working out and really showing. Wow, this is what a body can do. This is how a body can move. And then you've got a show telling a mystique story and then funny one. A funny, yeah, funny one. Funny, yeah. crazy. 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 <laughs> Where this is uh, Germany's first um, burlesque school and people don't know and so they're welcome to ask us anytime, any question as ridiculous they think it is. We're here to educate. Yes. And to help <laughs> and support. <laughs>